Dear experimentalists, I would like to introduce a graphical user interface for the great OpenPIV library to you. Install it by executing pip3 install OpenPIV GUI. All dependent packages will be collected automatically. Launch the GUI by simply typing Python 3. Use the M option, open PIV GUI dot open PIV GUI. Take care of capital letters here. Here it is. Start evaluating some images by selecting some files. Use Control Shift to select multiple files. Examine the files just by clicking on them here in the file list. We already see some Poseu flow pattern here. Choose your PIV parameters. We probably just start with a coarse grid, let's say 64 pixels interrogation window size, a bit larger search area, 50% overlap should be fine. And then process your images just by pressing start processing over here. The results will show up in the file list. You can observe the vector files here. And if you are interested in intermediate results, use this file filter here to list the content of your directory, applying different filters. Here, for example, we selected all vector files. This is the raw result. Here we have some spurious vectors filtered out or removed, and here they got replaced by a median. Think of these steps over here. Um, as a processing chain, which will be processed from left to right. I think it is good scientific practice to document what you've done. This is done almost automatically here in the lab book. So everything you do with all the parameters in human readable format are locked here. And you can also add some comments. You can save your settings and also the lab book content just by pressing dump settings and then selecting a file name. The parameters will be saved in JavaScript object notation, so it's also human readable on disk. If you now change your settings and you would like to restore them, just press load settings select the file and everything is as it was so your command probably you would like to extend the GUI by some more functions um, usually you have to do two things add some new variables and widgets and adding a useful code let's start with adding a variable We edit the file openpivparams.py. Scroll down a bit and find the variable default. Default is a dictionary that contains all the variables that the OpenPIV GUI is using. All these variables are elements in this dictionary. Let's search for a nice position, for example, here. And let's define a new variable. Just call it new variable. And now the content is always an array. That starts with an index. This index is just used for sorting and grouping. Um, 1000 something means that this variable or the corresponding widget for this variable will be placed on the first tab. 2000 means the second tab and so on. Let's define the type of the variable that can be float or boolean or whatever. Um, we use string here. Set the content of the variable or the value, it might be hello. Then provide some hints that are none here. Hints are a tuple of possible values. If it's not none, then instead of an entry widget, uh, an option menu is created. We also give it a, a label.
and it will help text. The help text will be displayed as a tooltip later. Let's save the file. And now let's edit openpivgui.py to add a new function. Let's search for init buttons. There it is, to add a new button. You just copy some code. Give our button a unique label. And bind it to a new method. Now we have to implement the function. Let's call get settings to update the settings object before we execute any other code. How do we access our variable? We can use the parameter object, which is called just p here in the OpenPip GUI. Uh, class and then we access our new variable just by indexing. I think we call the new variable just new variable. That's it. Let's save it. Now let's restart open PIV without errors. Yes, looks good. So my new variable shows up here tooltip, the content, you can modify it, and then there is our new function button, and if we press it, the content of this entry is printed into the terminal. Now I hope that this GUI will be useful and helpful for you. Take care.